Christians who believe Jesus and God are one in nature are wrong. John 10.30 talks about Jesus and God are one in mission equals God sent a message to Prophet Jesus, which makes Prophet Jesus on the mission, which is the same given to him by God. Jesus never invented his mission far away from God who sent him. Let us reverse this statement by asking the following question, if Jesus and the Father are one in nature and they are one and never separated as Christians claim, Christians will take it further by mentioning John 14 9 whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Now is the question if Christians claim whoever has seen me has seen the Father, does that mean whoever killed me had killed the Father? Christians are wrong the third verse which Christians claim validates the doctrine of the Trinity is the verse of John 10:30 I and my Father are one. This verse, however, is quoted out of context. The complete passage, starting with John 10:23, reads as follows, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him, and said unto him, How long dost thou make us doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believed not, the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man can pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. John 10 23-30 in divinity. In a holy trinity. No. They are one in purpose. Just as no one shall pluck them out of Jesus' hand, so too shall no one pluck them out of God's hand. Need more proof. Then read, Neither praise I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one I in them and thou in me. John 17 20-23 is all of mankind also part of the Trinity. When we read the Bible as a literary whole instead of as fragmentary verses, we begin to see the truth, and we begin to see that far from preaching the Trinity of the Church, Jesus, peace be upon him, only preached that which God told us in the Noble Quran that he preached, namely, the strict and uncompromising oneness, monotheism, of God alone. Such terminology can be found in many other places, read for example, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ, and make them the members of a harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit, 1 Corinthians 6 15-17 And whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 2 Peter 1 4 And also one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Ephesians 4 6 And for as the human, body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. 1 Corinthians 12 12 to 14 Once we read the above verses and understand what the message was that Paul was trying to get across, then we can begin to understand his words in such places as there is one body, and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Ephesians 4 4 St. Paul was speaking about Christian unity, not about a plurality of gods merged into one body. 
as we shall soon see, he was completely ignorant of where his teachings would later lead, and how decades later, they would be the foundations which would spawn the Trinity Doctrine. For more on this issue please read sections 1.2.3.2 and 1.2.3.23 once again. Here is our updated table, explicit statement implicit statement God is 1 Isaiah 43 10-11, Deuteronomy 4.39, Isaiah 45.18, Isaiah 44.6, Isaiah 45.6, Isaiah 45.22, Exodus 23, Exodus 34.14 God is 2 John 1.1, 1, 1, John 10:30 John.10 colon 33 John 5:18 John 20:28 20, John.14 to 6 John 14:8 to 9 God is 3 1 John 5 7 Matthew 28 1 I Corinthians 12 4 to 6 2 Corinthians 13:14 Jude 1:20 20 to 21 God is many Genesis 1:26